So with the new series of the boys ongoing, I wanted to show you how you can adapt your pattern to make this starlight outfit. So in this video, I'll cover the best methods to make your pattern, the measurements you need, and how to easily adapt your pattern to make the starlight super suit. The first I'm going to cover what are the best methods to make this pattern. And the first is the taping method. Now this method is really easy and doesn't take a lot of time because you're just wrapping yourself up in tape and then drawing the pattern onto yourself. The second method is using a block pattern. Now this is how I usually make my patterns. Now this is where you take the measurements and build a paper block and then build your pattern from it. It is a lot more time consuming but it does have a reusability with that base pattern as you can use it for other costumes. So the method I'll be focusing on for today will be the block pattern method. So I always tend to use a block pattern just because I make for myself and for other people when I'm doing commission work. So since I'm making from a pattern block, the block that I was using was from Anne Haggers for lingerie, beachwear and leisure wear. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can get that book. But if you don't want to spend money on a pattern block, I'll show you a simple way that you can make a leotard base pattern. So the measurements you'll need is your centre front nape, which is this section here, to crotch, your waist circumference, your bust measurement, your hip to waist, your shoulder measurement, your bust point, your waist to hip. Now with these measurements, you can make a base block by just doing your centre front nape to waist and then building out with all of your other measurements until you get the base shape that you want. So it should, in the end, for your front, look something like that. And then from there, you can do similar adaptions that I'm going to show you on this pattern to get the final outcome of the Starlight Super Suit. So now that you've got your base block, how can you easily adapt this into the Starlight Super Suit? And if you followed the Anne Hager block patterns, you would adapt it then into the wing seam swimsuit style. And this is the pattern that I have here. But but if you're just making a base leotard block, you would add to add in this princess seam into your leotard. But since it's already in this pattern, that section can stay where it is. But when we look at the costume, you can see that this princess seam goes all the way down into the crop. So this is the first thing we're going to change. So from about six centimeters up, you will just connect that going down into the crotch seam, like so. So that line will just start to curve in compared to where it originally started. Then from this point, we're gonna to start to add in the halter neck on both the back and front. So marking up from that princess seam, you're just going to take it out and closer to where the neckline starts. And since it does close on the center front, we are gonna connect that to it. So you should have the front looking more like this. And then to make it a halter neck on the back, you're going to just draw a curved line that connects to that center back, like so. And then you should be left with this shape. So with your halter neck then added in, it's then time to add this gold panel along the front. So you mark this about two centimeters in and then going down as low as you want it on your costume. I did it to just where my belly button sat and then you're just gonna bring it into a slight point and that's that gold panel complete. Then moving on to the hip panels on the side, you want to mark up five centimeters along your hip line on either pattern piece. So then on the front panel, you're just going to square across so just with a straight line, connect it to where that princess seam is. And then you've got yourself your completed gold panel on the front. So now on the back panel, so on the back panel, you're just gonna gradually bring it down until you're about three centimeters away from that crotch seam. And since I decided I didn't want a seam on this panel, I then connect these two together. So once you've got those two connected, this is the pattern for the Starlight Super Suit complete. However, you can add, depending on how your fabric sits, a small seam that's got a bit of a curve to it it on that center back just so it hugs against the body really nice. The only final bit to add is how to make the collar. Now for the collar you just want to do a rectangle that is the height that you want it by the length and this is half your neck circumference and then you're just going to finish that rectangle off and then just draw a curve to bring that down and then this section here will be your collar and since it does open at the back on the collar you will want to add an extra few centimeters onto one of the sides just so you can add a fastening onto it. But with that, you should be left with all of your pattern pieces looking like this, where you've got your center front white panel, your gold center front panel, two separate back panels if you're going for a seam. If not, 
that will be just one back panel, your hip panel connected, and then your white princess seam panel. I did also create a separate panel that is cut out in the shape of that princess seam that goes down into the crotch because this just made it a lot easier to sew it when I was cutting it out in the shape that the seam was. So I recommend doing that and then I have the collar panel just at the top here. But fold those pieces together, that is your Starlight Super Suit complete. I hope this video helps with how you can adapt the Starlight pattern at home. If you're interested in getting a costume made by me, I'll put a link in the description below where you can contact. But if you're interested in any of my previous projects and any more of the Starlight project, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.